Hi, good afternoon. Um, this video is for Sentinel EPOS uh, and Solutions Limited resellers uh, so they can better understand how to configure the Sentinel fast food or hospitality restaurant software. Uh, I'm starting from the scratch so you can understand it better uh, from the scratch how to use this software. So when you uh, open the software, we usually put my last four digit of mobile number which is 5058 as a main admin password or it could be one, two, three, four, five, six. So like I said, it's a blank software, so there's no categories, no products in the software. Uh, I'll start by the basic things. So the first thing you need to do is go to general in the store information. You can write the shop name, whatever is the shop name. So for example, uh, KFC, or you can write uh, Dixie Chicken. So give the shop name here, address, you can write the address here, whatever address the customer got and then uh, address and postcode both you need to write here but in a separate lines and postcode with the space with all capital uh, phone number you can do phone number and then if there is any logo for the store you can do add image and you can upload the logo file anywhere uh, and then press save so this is all you need to do to give the shop address and telephone number whatever you write here will come on the receipt top so when the shopkeeper print a receipt it will come uh, shop name and address and telephone number if you upload the uh, logo then uh, before the shop name it will show the logo so if you're uploading the logo and logo already have a name of the shop then you don't need to give a shop name here just upload the logo uh, the logo should be in black and white color uh, because the printer is black and white so if the logo is uh, in color like red yellow green then it will print gray so it's not gonna look nice so this is the first setting you need to do uh, now uh, uh, if the if you're using dual screen epo system then you need to go to information screen and you need to upload some pictures for the second screen so to upload the picture you need to activate the second screen first press images and then there's a default image here if you don't want to use this image you can press delete button it will be deleted and then you can upload your own pictures as well here so whatever pictures you want to upload you can upload all the pictures here it will run as a slideshow <coughs> so once the picture is uploaded press cancel and then you can write a ticker under the uh, pictures it will show some ticker information so you can write your ticker message here welcome to Dixie chicken whatever you want to write you can write here and press this and then do the picture resize mode to fill this is compatible with more of the picture but you can always try uniform uniform to fill if you want to center the picture or if you don't want to do anything but fill works for most of the pictures as well and then press save it will start showing the pictures on the second screen at the moment I will disable it because uh, my second screen is I'm using it for recording this video uh, in the printers you can give all the printers name so for example the default printer is uh, let's say this brother and then they are using a label printer and then there's a printer in a kitchen as well uh, and then notification printer is again the kitchen printer uh, if you want to send any notification to kitchen also <coughs> if you want to print token you can active the token so token is basically every time when they print a customer receipt for example there's a customer uh, he placed an order and he's waiting in a queue so you can print a small token uh, for the customer which shows the order number date and time and give it to customer as a proof that he placed an order on later when his food is ready you can take back the token and give him the food so this is for the token then how many receipt you want for delivery order for eat in order for collection receipt and take away receipt this is the customer receipt okay for the label there is another setting if you want if you're doing a small label which is uh, 52 mm or if you're doing big label which is uh, 80 mm you can use both uh, label as well from here and press the save button uh, so these are the two settings you need to do currency management if uh, you have more than one currency you can give currency name and everything here but this is not necessary because if you don't give any currency information by default our software will take uh, uh, the, the the currency information from the control panel regional settings so if you are in uk it will take pound if you are in uh, bangladesh it will take bang bangladesh currency if you are in america it will take us dollar so it will automatically adopt the currency of the local regional settings 
So this is the basic set uh, settings which we need to do. Now, if you are a reseller and you want to white label the software, like you want to hide this one, then message me. I will tell you this is an image. So I will tell you the image size. Once you have the image ready, then I'll give you a reseller password. I'm not going to disclose in this video. But once you have the reseller uh, password, you can go to add image and then you can write any image. For example, I'm putting this food picture as an image and press save and it will be save and it will come here as well and it will hide the other thing as well. So uh, this is how you can uh, do the reseller. You can upload your logo, whatever you want to design, you can design it. Uh, so once you purchase the software, ask me for the uh, information and I'll give you the information as well. Uh, in the in this section, you can also give change the company name, so it will change the uh, the shortcut name as well. So if your company name is, for example, ABC Pause, you can write the company name here. If you want software to automatic do the backup of the menu, you can do automatic, and then you can give the location a Dropbox location. And every time you close the software, it will automatically make a backup. So in future, in, if the ecosystem is stopped working, you have a backup automatically, uh, and then. There are many other settings if you want to clear all the orders, you can clear the orders and press clear. Uh, if you tick categories and product and press clear, it will wipe everything. So it will reset the software to zero as well. So these are you need to be very careful when uh, clearing everything from here as well. Uh, um, like I said, uh, if you're a reseller, call me, I'll give you this password and then you can uh, you upload your menu or whatever you want to do, upload your logo from there. Now I'll start by telling you how to create a category. So to create a category, you can go to manager, category, click the add button, write the category name. So for example, the first category name is starters. Okay. Now, uh, if this category uh, is, you want this category to go to the kitchen printer, because like some categories, for example, drinks, you don't want to go to kitchen printer, then you can turn it off it will not go to the kitchen printer but if, if you want this category to go to kitchen printer you can turn it back on as well okay also you can define the receipt position so receipt position for the restaurant i'll show you i'll i'll cancel this for now i'll first show you the receipt position so if you go to receipt position you can make multiple receipt positions for uh, for the receipt so different areas for the receipt so for example the first area are, uh, is heading is the starters which we want always on the top, so it's number zero. Uh, the second uh, receipt position is uh, main dishes or, or mains. Some restaurant call it mains, so you can do mains, and we want this to be on the second number. Then, then the third one is, uh, uh, for example, drinks, and we want it on the third number. Uh, the fourth one, they want maybe uh, desserts, and this they want on the fourth number so and then press save so we have created different receipt positions as well so when you adding a category you can define which category go where so for example starters we want uh, starters to go on top which is a starter and we want them to go to the kitchen printer as well and press save if you want to make another category press save but if if this is the only category you want to uh, make then press save and close okay if you want to upload a picture on this category you can go to style and then you can add an image from here as well whatever image you want to put but it should be less than 30 kb in size so you need a very small picture uh, also uh, when this category or go on the kitchen what color you want this category so for example we want pink color this category so it shows clearly on the kitchen printer this category Okay, so we have made this category now and we want to make another one. So I'll just press save. Now we'll make another uh, category called side orders. And this is also going in the starters. So I'll do starters and we want it to go to kitchen printer, press save. Then we will do a, uh, like uh, chef special dishes. So chef special dishes. Again, we want this to go to the main dishes and it, we want it to go to kitchen printer so i'll press save also we want it because this is the main dish so we want it to be shown in a different color so i want to show it in a green color on a kitchen screen uh, if you are using kitchen screen then you need to do this if the customer don't have any kitchen screen you don't need to use this option save the fourth one we want for example curry dishes in the curry dishes uh, again this is the main dish 
and we because this is the main dish we will again assign it green color so uh, all the main dishes look uh, different in a uh, kitchen screen uh, then after curry dishes we got for example uh, drinks category drinks category we don't want to go on a kitchen so we will turn off kitchen print and we want it to go to the drinks section uh, and uh, we don't want it to go to kitchen anyway so it's press save and then after drink we will do desserts so desserts category again we want dessert category to go to recipe on a dessert section and uh, we don't want it to go to the kitchen or maybe you want to go to the kitchen and you want it on a different color so i'll do it uh, this time orange color okay so now we have done all the categories so i press save and close so if we go back to the software and see all the categories are on the top as well now you like i told you you can uh, upload the pictures on this category if you want to know the exact size of the picture then message me on whatsapp i'll send you the size uh, you can do the pictures uh, you can also increase the button size so to increase the button size uh, i'll show you later in this video first i'll show you how to add few products so let's say now we have to add some products we will go to the product section in the product section we want to choose add something into the starter so we will click on starters click on plus sign and we want to do for example opodum 75 pence uh, okay and then uh, if it's got just one price give it here but if the popodum have different price for example if somebody is uh, coming for takeaway is 75 pence if somebody is doing eating is 90 pence if somebody is doing collection is 75 pence and if it's delivery is 75 pence so basically this is is the delivery price this is the eating table price this is the collection over the phone price and this is the delivery price but if you don't give any uh, three and just give default then it will apply to all as well okay uh, position uh, on the category this is the first button so i'll do position zero but later you can do position very easily i'll show you as well if the product has a barcode for example it's a pepsi can you can scan the barcode here and then rather than uh, pressing the button you can just scan the product it will go to the card if the product have any extra uh, description uh, you can write extra description here as well it will come under the product otherwise you can leave it blank as well so we have added one product popodum then we will add for example chicken wings as a side order 2.99 save we'll add few more products so we will add let's say chicken pakoda 2.99 save onion bhaji onion pakoda whatever so 2.49 save and close so i'll just add the four products in the starters now we want to add something in side order so i'll add something in side order i'll add let's say uh, chicken fillet chicken fillet strips i'll give price 3.29 and then uh, we want to add something else in side order so side order we want to add beans 99 pence corn on the cob one pound uh, and then coleslaw so i've added few things in a side order as well and then press save and close it's press done now so now same way we will do something in chef special now in chef, chef special for example we want to add uh, korma now korma have uh, four options korma is either chicken korma meat korma fish korma or vegetable korma whatever for example or masala chicken masala meat masala whatever you want to do so i'll show you how you can make options so there are two ways of making the option one which is the easier way if the whole category for example chef special dishes the whole category has uh, options so what you can do you can go to the category and you can go to the chef special edit and you can make options here as well so you can give option for example chicken is the first option add uh, meat is the second option add fish is the third option add vegetable is fourth option add and king prawn is the fifth option for example so now we added the options here if the option if it has the same price as well for the all dishes for example you have a category where all the dishes are same price you can even give the price here as well so it's going to be easy for you to make product but if the price is different leave this blank and press save and close 
now what will happen when we go to the chef special and try to add a product automatically the option will come here automatically so let's say the first product uh, product is uh, masala okay now masala chicken masala is 299 meat masala is 399 fish masala is 3 pound vegetable masala is 270 uh, 275 for example and then king prawn is 320 for example okay so you given the price and press save and close so what will happen now if we go to the chef dishes and press masala it will show this option if i click meat it will write masala meat 399 uh, if i do chicken masala 299 so it will uh, write here accordingly so this is how you make the options as well so in our software you can change the layout as well uh, i've changed the layout sorry i've uh, stopped the recording for 2 seconds and i for forgot to press the record button again so uh, if you see the layout is changed now the categories is on the left hand side and the products is on the right hand side so i'll quickly show you what i've done i've put some pictures on the product button so i'll show you how, how i've done it so first i'll add a product uh, into the drink section and press add so for example we do a product called fanta can and we give the price 1 pound now we press a style in the style you can go to the pause images or kiosk images if you are selling epo system then click on pause images if you go selling kiosk images uh, the self checkout kiosk then you need to upload from here also you can change the button color from here as well if you want to just change the button color for this fanta only then you choose the color and you press say proceed and save and it will change this to orange but uh, for example if we change uh, we press save now the fanta color is orange so let's say we add another product called uh, dr pepper and now i'll show you how to add the picture as well so we go here and we not changing the button color we'll just go to pause images and here we will upload this dr pepper can and press proceed and save and close okay so if i if i do the button color change and i press this apply all button it will apply the color for example if i choose a color green here and press apply all it will apply this color to all the products in this category that means pepsi seven up fanta dr pepper all will be green color but if i don't press apply all then it will only be applied to the dr pepper product as well uh, so uh, i'll press cancel because i don't want the green color so if i go back and see drinks see the fanta is orange and dr pepper has got a picture here and is this color uh, again i'll show you how i made this button bigger or smaller so all you need to do is go to general uh, order management in the order management you will see screen edit mode press save and then once save you can go back to take away screen and then you will see a scroll bar to make the button bigger or smaller for category and same for the uh, products as well you can make the button smaller or bigger using this scroll bar as well according to because at the moment i'm making this video on a big 24 inch monitor so i've got plenty of space but when you make it on a 15 inch epo system uh, you won't be able to get this much space uh, and the layout is going to be like at the moment the card is very small because it's coming on a very stretched screen uh, again if you want to change the layout you want to bring the categories on the top all you need to do is go to manager in the manager order management again general and then order management in the order management you do vertical but whenever you change the layout you need to press save and close the software and open again and it will change the layout so if i close the software and open it again uh, it this will change the layout uh, to the no, new layout and bring the categories on the top and product on the bottom as well so now i can adjust the everything now if i want to increase the category button size i can again go to manager general uh, order management and i can do screen edit mode enable press save okay and then i go back and i can use the scroll button to make the category bigger or smaller you can also upload the pictures on this category so to upload the pictures uh, all you need to do is uh, i'll disable the uh, this uh, feature yeah no let me do it again so screen edit mode save and then after saving we increase the category button to its size and then best thing to do is just quickly log out and open the software again and it will uh, save the category button settings so uh, once you done all the button setting is ideally you close the software and open again and it automatically saves all the button settings and keep it to the full width now i'll show you how to add picture to this category 
so again if you want to add the pictures you can do this while you making new categories or you can do this later by pressing this edit button in the edit button you will see style in the style you can do add image in the add image i will do category pictures is this is a starter so i'll do uh, yeah i'll do this side order pictures or i'll do a starter this soup picture as a starter so this is a starter now if you want to do side order you can do a side order picture as well so i'll do add image and then side order this time uh, side order and i'll put the side order picture and then in chef special dishes i'll go style and uh, add images and we have all these images if you need these images uh, you can uh, request us and we can give you these images as well curry dishes we will do curry dishes picture uh, so let's see if we have any curry dishes picture no Yeah, curry dishes here so this is a curry dishes picture and then drinks i'll do drinks pictures drinks done and then in the desserts i'll do some desserts picture uh, maybe i have ice cream picture yeah so ice cream picture I put it as a dessert so now I've uploaded the pictures so see how it is going to look like you can make it more bigger if you want and it will show the pictures on the category it looks nice uh, chef special curry dishes so you can uh, do it accordingly later you if you want to remove any picture you can again go and you can click on the starter edit and then you can go to style and you can remove the picture from here as well so it's both options available so this is how you add the category and then how you add the products now the third thing i want to explain uh, sometimes there are options uh, in the product as well so for example in uh, curry dishes uh, in chef special dishes in masala chicken there's an option that customer want mild medium or hot so the best way of opening the optional screen is you use uh, the add-on so all you need to do is go to product add-on and then you can first make the add-on type so these are the default type for add-on i'll delete this empty one so these are the but if you want any other add-on type for example because you are uh, making either one you can do spice level this is the add-on time because they want medium hot the spice level and then if the if this add-on one you want a customer to choose more than one for example in this scenario the customer can either have mild medium or hot so we will not do multi selection and we don't want to print this spice level heading on the receipt so we will turn it off and we want to close this add on screen automatically as soon as the customer choose one so we will click tick on this one so i've made this add on type now i will go to products again i won't go to chef special and then we will go to add on and in the add on we will uh, go to chef special sorry you don't need to go to products just go to add on choose chef special and add the add on on the chef special so for example you want to add in a spice level uh, add on <coughs> mild is the first add on save second one is medium and third one is hot fourth one is extra hot so for example this if any of your add-on for example sometimes you like if you're making a burger category and the add-on is cries of cheese or cheese on fries and they have an extra price you can always put the price here as well but in this case chef special this is not any price related product this is just a flavor so you do do s as safe now uh, this add-on uh, is automatically uh, link with this category so if we go to chef special masala chicken uh, it's not opening the add-on automatically because some customer want it to open automatically some customer want to open it manually so if you want to open it manually just double click on this masala chicken and this add-on will open automatically and if you notice as soon as i click one it close automatically as well but in case if you want to open this add-on screen automatically then all you need to do is go to category go to chef special edit the category click auto add-on and then apply to all products so now the auto add-on is opening automatically with all the products now so if i click on for example guna meat it opens add-on as soon as i click hot 
and then it closes automatically. Let's say in this category you want to open the add-on with Masala and Jalfrezi, but you don't want to open it with Bhuna. So you can achieve this by going to the category. In the category, uh, sorry, not category, into the products. In the products, you go to the Chef Special, and then in the Chef Special products, Chef Special, and then you click on Bhuna, edit, and then you can turn auto add-on for this Bhuna only. So now the auto add-on screen will open uh, with uh, two other products, which is Masala and uh, Jalfarezi. But if you click on Bhuna, it will not automatically open the add-on. So this is how you can achieve, for example, with some products you want to show the add-on, with some products you don't want to show the add-on as well. Similarly, if for example, you have another category called, uh, let's say, uh, um, or I'll explain this later. Uh, for now, I'll just uh, leave this video to add-on uh, and how you can add the add-on. If when you're making the add-on, if you don't uh, do for example if i go to the add-on type and we made the add-on spice level and i do it let's say uh, don't close on selection then it will stay open so it it will stay open but it still it will only allow customer to choose one so for example if i do masala this add-on screen is open but if i click on medium it will only allowing me to choose one option it's not allowing me to choose more than one option okay so this but customer have to do manually done button every time but if you don't want this done button then this add on screen uh, you can choose that button automatically close on one click and it will be automatically close on one click as well so uh, so far uh, we have i've explained you how to add products how to add category and how to link the add on as well now uh, this is the part one of uh, the training in the part two i will take in more detail uh, I think I'll make two 30 minutes video. So this is 26 minute video so far. So I'll quickly explain few more things to you. Uh, so uh, how to take the order for example. So if you want to take an order, uh, side order, and then we do some chef special, buna, and then we do drinks, uh, two drinks and then finish, and then do not paid. This order is saved now. Okay, now I'll show you, because if you remember when we're making the category I showed you, you can give different colors to the kitchen screen order. So I'll activate the kitchen screen in any e-post system. For example, imagine this is the kitchen computer. So if you want to activate the kitchen screen, you need to go to the manager, general, and then you can go to information screen and you can activate the kitchen screen from here and press save. What will happen now, uh, once you close the software and open it again, it will instead of showing the software it will open the kitchen screen okay and it will show the kitchen screen the one order we took see is showing the kitchen screen here uh, obviously uh, see it's showing the starters in pink color and then the main dishes in yellow blue color so you can do any and then using the touch screen you can tick which one you want to is completed so once the whole order is completed it, it will uh, you can press it will automatically disappear from the screen also you can filter the kitchen screen. So in the filter, in the kitchen screen, for example, you don't want drinks to come on the kitchen screen, you can untick. Now on the kitchen screen, the drinks will not come. For example, you don't want desserts to come on the kitchen screen, it will not show desserts on the kitchen screen as well. Uh, so this is how the kitchen screen will look like. You can make the kitchen screen font bigger or smaller that all options are here, which we will explain it uh, later as well. Uh, then I'll log in into the software again. Uh, in the order list you can see all the previous order you can reprint any order you can edit any order from here um, also I'll quickly show you the user how to create the user so at the moment I'm logging with the admin user so if you want to you make another user you can go to the users first you make the groups so I've made three groups here so in the admin group if I edit see I've given all the permissions in admin group but if I go to the uh, manager group in the manager group I've given just this change print settings on payment screen this option i've not given and then in the user group i've given only remove order from item open order list these two options so if you want to add another group for example your group is general staff group general group for example and then you press save and then you go edit the group and then whatever permissions you want to give you can give it to them for example you don't want them to open the cash drawer you don't want to give discount and press save so this group is created now you can go back to users whatever user you make for example i'll make a user ahmed here and i'll give the password the password could is minimum three uh, numeric uh, of, uh, digit 
so for example the password is 6063 uh, or I'll do password uh, 4960 okay and then I'll give uh, assign it to general group and press uh, is active and press save now this login is made one whenever you create a new user you have to close uh, the software and log in again with the new user uh, only first time second time you don't need to close the software you can just log out and it will uh, do the uh, user automatically so we don't want this kitchen screen I'll close it and so then uh, 4960 see Ahmed so if I click on cash draw it's asking for password if I click on manager it's letting me come because I've given the manager rights and then I can take the order as well so this is how you create the user groups as well uh, also and for the users you if you want you can uh, give them uh, let's say they are using uh, handband like when you go to the water park they give you a handband or you they are using the clock in clock out card or they are using anything you can scan that card here and then they can log in instead of typing in the password you can log in with the card you can give them hourly rate national insurance number phone number email these are all optional so uh, next time if you want to log out you just log out and then I can log in using the admin also in our software there's an option that after taking every order you can log out as well in some environment there are multiple people using same till so when you finish uh, not paid instead of coming back to the screen if you want software can come to this logout page and every time they have to log in as well this is usually in a public house or pub places as well uh, in the manager if you go into the <coughs> receipts uh, uh, or receipt leave it as I'll explain later reports you can press X report which will show the current sale Z report will show the sale uh, since you last press the Z report and reset the sale to zero custom report you can see any sales figure by date from here uh, so you can see by date 11th or if you want to see one month sale or whatever sale you want to see uh, sales by product you can see all the sales by product as well so it will show how many pop items you sold how many seven up cans you sold and their total value uh, so these are all the hourly report uh, sales by staff so if multiple staff member are using uh, the till the sales by staff you can also use so these are the, all the reports here as well uh, purchases you can record all your purchases here whatever you want a product name quantity this is for a stock purpose which I will explain in a later video uh, cash management uh, if somebody is taking cash from the door they can say okay we are get, taking 100 pound uh, safe and uh, it will show who took the cash admin how much they took and at the end of the day when you take the reports it will show on the report that 100 pound is taken by this staff member on this date and time uh, or if you're paying something you're doing banking whatever you can do from there as well uh, dashboard you if if for example you are selling it to a restaurant and they don't do delivery you can untick the delivery button you can untick the uh, collection button and you want to change the eat in button color you can click here and you can change the color to whatever color you want it will change uh, and press save now if I go back to the dashboard see it's changed now so whatever buttons you want to hide for example they're not doing driver payment delivery so you can unhide uh, this buttons unnecessary buttons and press save to make the dashboard look simple as well if they are only doing eat in like it's a restaurant then you can also configure the software to uh, only open with the eat in so you can go to the order management in the order management you can go to this eat in section in the eat in section you can say start from eat in now every time you open the software the software will come directly to this uh, table menu this menu and it will always stay here it will not go back until to this page until you press this X button as well uh, in the eaten menu you can go to the reservation you can reserve any table you can schedule you can see the reservation list as well so all you need to do is just do table number 8 when it's reserved for example is reserving on 16 1 15 p.m. and then press save how many people come customer name for example customer name is Asif Ahmed and then uh, proceed and then how many uh, phone number you can take the customer phone number I'm mean, just writing some blank number here and then how many people coming so party size is six proceed now this reservation is made so if you go eat in and you go to reservation uh, you can do go to reservation list you can see all the reservation lists as well you can reschedule from here or you can cancel from here this reservation is everything is there so when this reservation time comes 
uh, at the moment is four days just 45 minutes before this reservation it will uh, change the table color from green to orange so you know that you can't assign this table to any other customer uh, it's reserved from within next 45 minutes or 50 minutes whatever time you want to uh, define you can define if you want to reserve the table two hours before this all the options are there as well service charges if you charging service charges are fixed service charges you can say for example 15 percent service charges in percentage or fixed if it's an amount you can do amount five pound fix or if it's in percentage you can do 15 percent or five percent service charges and it will automatically charge five percent on top as a service charges for all the eat in order so this is the service charges uh, what you want to show as a heading on top of the receipt uh, so for example you want to show it as a takeaway takeaway delivery delivery as a heading on top of the receipt so for example you don't use do uh, eat in word you want to use dine in you can write in dine in or table order whatever heading you want to give for receipt is up to you you can change it as well uh, discount if you want to give any discount on takeaway order for example five percent you can do automatic discount it will start applying so same you can do for delivery collection and eat in order as well so default wanted time so what is your default uh, time for example if takeaway customer come you give them within five minutes of delivery your default time is 50 minutes collection your default time is 25 minutes so it will be printed on receipt as a wanted time uh, default wanted time for the kitchen so you or uh, if if you uh, are taking order and you are busy and you think you can't do on a default time you can on finish screen uh, see it's showing five minutes because of takeaway order but if you want to increase it you can increase it from here or if you want to do it more you can go to deliver later and then you can give the date and time and customer want this order and it will be printed on the receipt as well so seven days 35 minutes so it will be printed on the receipt as well uh, again uh, i think i'll stop this video first part here on the second part i will explain you uh, more details this sub menus and then how to do meal deals uh, in detail because that that's the most of the thing time customer want meal deals uh, and then I'll show you more options like settings, color ID settings, printer settings, these kind of settings. Uh, I'll show you this is special instructions uh, as well. Uh, or a special instruction I can complete in this video is basically special instructions. Uh, Sometimes there are some general instructions. So this is the button on top. When you press this button, it is the predefined special instructions. Uh, if you wanna this you can edit as a note so if you want to add or delete something you can go to manager special instructions you can press add button to add more special instruction buttons for example I want to add one button called test there so it will be added or if you want to delete something like 50 pound note I'll delete I'll delete from here so now if I go to the special instructions uh, it will show this test as a note but always if customer don't have a button here he can go to customer and he can type anything here as well and it will be uh, press add and then it will be printed as a note in a receipt as well so this is how you add the special instruction this is the discount button if you want to give discount in percentage you can do 10 percent discount uh, or one percent discount it will be given here automatically or if you want to do discount uh, in amount you can give for example if you want to give discount one pound discount you can give the one pound discount as well uh, on the finish screen uh, these are the switches so if you want to just print receipt on the front turn it on uh, if you want to print label turn it on if you want to print into kitchen turn it on uh, if you want to print two receipt on the front turn it on so the or this is how it's going to work uh, as well pager if it's a busy restaurant or busy takeaway and they have a pager system like when you go to royal lavab or any big restaurant they give a pager so on checkout you can select the pager and you can tell the software that you are given 25 pager number to this customer and press cash and then uh, once the order is ready you can bust the pager from the software or you can bust from their internal software as well so pager uh, if you want to add pager usually the pager cost is between uh, you can buy a cheap one from amazon but that's not regulated pager so their frequency is very dangerous so i always suggest buy from a uk supplier which is about 20 pages is about 800 to 900 pound in uk which is uh, the frequency the radio frequency is approved by uk government so there's no liability on you uh, service charges if you have not defined the service charges you can always add the service charges on the finish screen also you can add discount on total order on the finish screen uh, as well uh, 
so I hope you understood most of the things in this video. If you have any questions, then you can call on my mobile number as well, and I can explain you further or make another video as well. Uh, I'll make a part two for this video in which I will explain how you can make the meal deals and more settings of the software, and then I'll show you how you can install the database SQL Server and how you can install the software in later videos as well. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll speak to you soon.